Welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at the brand new ranking factors that Google just announced that are all about page experience. If you wanna understand what they are and how you can get prepared for it, continue watching. Are you looking to grow your business but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe been watching a while and you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please do so now and don't forget to turn on alerts. That way you know each and every time we create new content on this channel. We have a brand new ranking factor coming to you in 2021. So Google gave us some lead time on this, which is really awesome because you know this is a little bit crazy right now in the world. But what they want us to know is that they're gonna be moving towards incorporating page experience into the core ranking algorithm. So they're gonna be looking at things that are known as core web vitals, which we will cover a little bit later in this video, as signals for ranking for page experience. They're also gonna be leveraging current signals, current page experience signals into that as well to really understand how good a web page is. is it, does it give a really quality user experience? So this is really going to push SEOs a little bit further. It's gonna make sure that we need to really work with dev teams if we don't have any background in development and making sure that we understand the core needs of our user and how they are looking to interact with our website. So if we look a little bit back at the past page experiences and how those are incorporated, we can kind of see how this all stacks together. So we've got things like mobile friendly, we've got page speed, we've got HTTPS, we've got safe browsing. Uh, we've got these experiences that are, are, that are, that are all about making a web page uh, quality in Google sense, but really for the user, a good experience that we don't have anything that's intrusive popping up and really just messing with the experience of the website. But now they're looking at core web vitals, which is gonna wrap in a whole new level of page experience. Uh, this is just a cool tweet from Cyrus Shepard. You might know him from uh, Moz and um, Whiteboard Fridays. Uh, but these are the things that we do know. Page rank, confirm ranking signal, HTTPS, confirmed ranking signal, mobile experience, confirm ranking signal, all from Google. And now we know for sure page experience is coming as a core ranking signal, something that they're going to be adding into their search algorithm to rank a page. So there is a couple of changes with this. If you read the blog that they put out, um, AMP is gonna change a little bit. So page experience met metrics, they're going to be a factor in ranking for top stories in search on mobile. Now typically, in order to rank in those top stories, you needed to have AMP requirement on mobile. Now they're removing the AMP requirement to, in, to actually earn those ranking positions. Now Google will still support AMP and will continue to link to AMP pages when available, but it's no longer a requirement for top stories once this new rollout changes. So if you're leveraging AMP now, you don't have to stop leveraging AMP. AMP is still a really cool technology. It does help your pages move faster, but it's no longer a requirement for top story eligibility. So the first thing that we need to do uh, is not panic. You know, a lot of people, when they see Google put something out, they think they need to go change everything on their website. Now, we have some time. Like Google, this is a direct quote from them. They recognize that a lot of people right now are, are responding to COVID-19 or they're looking at a number of other things, you know, trying to get their businesses started up. So the ranking changes in that post that they provided, again, I will link to it in this video, will not happen before next year. And they're gonna provide a six month notice before they're rolled out. So Google is trying to be very transparent here and saying, hey, we're making these changes. We're gonna give you a six month lead time. And they're also providing tools to help site owners understand what they actually need to do in order to make sure that their site is optimized as possible. So don't panic. What are these new page experience ranking factors? Uh, a quote from Google, the page experience signal measures the aspect of how users perceive the experience of interacting with a web page. So instance, how is a user's experience when they go to that site? Is it going to be a good um, experience from their perspective? So they're, like I said before, they're gonna be looking at the core web vitals which these will determine the quality of that experience. And there's gonna be three of them that are gonna make up these core web vitals. It's largest content full paint, LCP, first input delay, FID, and cumulative layout shift. So let's look a little bit more in depth of what these actually mean. So the first one of these core web vital metrics is largest content full paint, or LCP. And this is going to be measuring how fast your site is loading. Now, a good user experience, we, we've talked about it before on this channel, and I know a lot of other SEOs and marketers have talked about it. You want your page to load within two seconds. And what they're saying here is that a good user experience, that your main content, the largest amount of content, the content that you really want, that's the core of that page, should be loading within 2.5 seconds. So this is something that they're going to be measuring. This is something that you'll be able to see um, in the tools that they provide you. 
but really it's it's looking at the the majority of your content the main point of your content that it is loading quickly so people can quickly get to the point when they're coming to your web page so this is really important especially if you have a lot of other things going on with your website make sure that the main content is loading as quick as possible the next is first input delay uh, this is also abbreviated as FID and this is looking at interactivity how can people engage with you and what they want is the ability to engage with a page with less in less than a hundred milliseconds so a good user experience it should allow a user to start interacting with the page have you ever interacted with a page or maybe started trying to click a button but the page hasn't loaded yet so that button wasn't actually active it was just kind of there on the page but you couldn't do anything that's what first input delay is looking at when can somebody actually start to engage with the elements that are on your page so if maybe your content's loading but the page isn't able to engage for quite a while that's going to have a negative impact on your search presence because it's going to be a bad user experience the last one is cumulative layout shift now this is measuring the visual stability of a page um, and you want to make sure that you have a, a cls which is the, the acronym for that, of less than 0.1. So one of the examples they give, and I think this is a really good one, is, is being on a page. Have you ever been on a page and you go to click something and the page shifts and like moves? Um, that's a page that's not very stable. That's a page that has uh, a, a, some issues with their cumulative layout. And it's shifting when you go to try to engage with that page. Well, that's a bad user experience. I actually have a site that I, I use all the time to check waves uh, here locally where I live on the beach. and if I'm on mobile, I'll go to click a button and it'll always like click, you know, a beach that's like 20 miles ahead of me because it, the whole thing shifts when I go to click on it. It's really frustrating. And this is something that Google is going to begin to negatively impact search results if your page is doing that. So you really want to make sure that when people are able to click on things, um, that, that, that the page is stable, that it's not going to shift around and that it's going to stay where it needs to stay. So these three things can be tested and Google's released a few free tools that we can use to make sure that our sites are optimized for these new ranking features. You have the Chrome user experience report. Uh, that's one of the first tools that they have and it will measure all of these. Now that does leverage BigQuery. Uh, it's a little bit more in depth and you may have to have a little bit of background in some JavaScript in order to really leverage it fully. But that to me seems to be the most um, extensive report that, that they're going to be giving. I still need to dig into it a little bit um, because it's not something that I've dug into much just yet. But what I will be doing is going through each one of these and creating videos on them. Uh, the other tool will be PageSpeed Insights, which is you know a lot of websites uh, use that. A lot of webmasters use it to check their speeds. And then Search Console will also have a Core Web Vitals report in it as well. Well, uh, you can also check uh, and learn a little bit more about all of these at that link at the bottom of this slide. So here's a recap. 2021, Google's rolling out a new ranking factor, and it's all about page experience. It's going to become more and more important. It's something that all webmasters, all SEOs need to focus on because SEO is becoming incorporated in every single aspect of the marketing funnel. It's not just about keywords. It's not just about core topics. It's not just about writing content. It's about everything from user experience, user inactivity, how people, how people move from the top of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel. Everything you do is now impacted by SEO. And, and it's really cool in one way because it's made SEO really important, but it also made SEO a little bit uh, harder because now you need to understand where it fits in which stage of the funnel. So make sure that you're focusing on these new areas of loading, interactivity, and stability. There are free tools to help you test and optimize. We will start to do some videos as we begin to run tests on our own on this area. But really what you need to know is this ranking factor is not coming out this year. We will have six months of lead time before it does come out. But these are things that you can start focusing on now, getting your hands dirty and understanding how you can get your site prepared for when page experience does become a factor. If you got any questions, please comment below. We would love to continue the conversation with you. And until next time, happy marketing.